like you. I got song to say God is good and we will come again with a new song of praise God is good oh come back to me Congratulations. I 
I've seen that. Who can battle with the Lord? Who can change his mind about me? Many years, many days, I've seen his faithfulness forever, ever. Congratulations. With a new song of praise, God is good. God is good. a little for you guys. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe that we are good to go. Amen. Amen. I think we are good to go. I don't know why people who are not, who have already, they are supposed to be there. I don't know what is happening. They are not there. Thank you. My dear bright mate, what they did. Okay, hold the seat too. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. <sighs> okay, so we are going to begin. The Lord bless you. Congratulations to you. The Lord bless Lord you. Bless you. Congratulations to you. You have come this far. Hallelujah. It is good to have to have to do. It is good to have you tonight. God bless you. Thank you for being strong. Thank you for standing. Thank you for trusting God. Thank you for believing. Thank you for your faith will not be dashed to the rock in the name of Jesus. You have indeed come upon Mount Zion. 
where deliverance, healing, blessing will take place in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, we are going to be touching on the spirit of reproach. We are going to be touching on the spirit of reproach. And I pray for you and I that reproach that has kept you in that place up till now, reproach will let you go in the name of Jesus. Amen. I know many of you are coming. Think that Pastor Brenda is going to sit down today and deal with this marriage issue. The Lord said I should deal with reproach and marriage will come. He said I should deal with reproach and peace will come. He said I should deal with reproach and every other thing will fall in place. Hallelujah. Amen. I began to pray and the Lord started telling me. He said reproach is the problem. Reproach is the reason why his people are in that place for such a long time. He said, Doctor, if you can pull the spirit of reproach, destroy the spirit of reproach, then every other thing will fall in place. Praise the Lord. So what then is reproach. This reproach that can stop somebody. This reproach that will not allow a person go forward. This reproach that has kept you in that place up till now. What then is this reproach? The Lord began to explain to me. He said reproach. A person that is suffering with reproach. is more like a cripple. Just as you see the inability of a cripple to walk fast. The same way you see the inability of a cripple to get to their destination in time, to push, to make things happen for themselves easily, and it's difficult for them. The Lord said, I should explain to you. He said, you've been dealing with reproach in your own understanding in a little way. He said the person that is suffering from reproach is more like a person that is crippled as in handicap. Reproach. Reproach. I want you to understand that the reason why many of the circumstances have finally come to align the way they are is because reproach has secretly played from the back. What is reproach? Reproach is disapproval. Reproach is disapproval. Reproach is denial. Reproach is failure. Reproach is lack. Reproach is shame. 
Reproach is sickness. Hmm. Let me explain something to you. Reproach is when a woman gets married, stays in that marriage, has children. The husband walks away, leaving her, not because she didn't have children, <laughs> not because she wasn't submissive. The husband left her and went for a woman who didn't have anything for him. <laughs> ah, reproach. Reproach is when an older sister watched the younger ones get married before her, have children. Her mm. children call, their younger sister children call them auntie. Reproach. Reproach is when a man walks all his life, migrates from one country to the other, saying, I'm going for greener pastures, only to arrive at failure. That's reproach. Reproach. Hmm. Reproach is when, oh God, reproach is the situation of the man at the pool of Bethsaida that the man goes through a situation that completely gives up hope. That even when hope's, hope comes, he's unable to identify it. Reproach. May reproach be wiped from your life today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Reproach. Mm. Reproach is the situation of the man at the beautiful gate. A man who sat at a beautiful gate, yet his life was not beautiful. He was crawling on the ground, carried to that place every day. Yet the name of the place is beautiful. He is an irony, a mm. reproach. He will look up to people, and people will look down on him. There's, there's, there's something wrong with that. He looks, may you not look up to anybody but God. I said, I said, after today, may you not look up to anybody but God. May you not look up to a doctor. May you not look up to a man. May you not look up to anybody but God after today in the name of Jesus. See, you may not understand. The scripture makes us understand. It said the man looked up to Peter and John. Hoping that they will give him something. Do you know how many times the man looked up and nothing was given to him? There are many times he looked up and somebody looked down and insulted. That insult in your life vanished right now as I'm speaking. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said that insult vanished from your destiny as I'm talking right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. What is that reproach in your own life? Reproach. Yes, sir. There are a lot of people that are suffering now. From reproach. From reproach. And they don't know. Mm. Mm. To be in that position. You know, there are some people, they don't know that what, that people are observing their life. Yes. And they have already given them the name. Maka Daba, you are so tired. Of that they don't know. Jesus. The name they are calling the behind 
it's not the name they are calling them at the at the, at the front. You know, so many people suffered a, a different kinds of reproof, whereby the society, the their blood neighbor. Of Jesus. I cover this meeting with the blood of Jesus. I cover it with the, I seal you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you with the blood. I cover you with the blood. The blood Listen, today, no arrow from nowhere, no matter the altar, it will not get, it will not distract you even a little, and it will not touch this blessing today. Amen. They are shooting at me like, <laughs> like this woman. After everything we've done to her, she's mm. sitting up. Listen to me. You will be blessed today. Oh, you must. You must. See how they are shooting at me. Oh. You know what has been happening since morning before we come to this place, so it's not a joke. So if you happen to be here, please let's be serious. Just it's a special day. No, as I was saying, many people suffered reproach without knowing. They mm. believe that people are not aware of their situation, and they believe that it is a secret. Mm. The people around her or him. They know about the situation. Mm. And the, um, the person's name is no longer the name that her parent has given to her. The person is bearing a different name. The woman with the issue of blood, her reproach wiped her name completely. You know, woman of God, you know, this, there are some people whereby the, the, the reproach is not so pronounced. And they are trying to cover, cover it. the reproach. Yes, I know. They are covered. They try to cover it. And people around them, they are aware of it. And they are giving the person name. Yes. Just as they give the woman with the issue, issue of, blood. of blood. They are giving the person name concerning that particular thing. Yes, sir. At the back, nobody mentioned her name. Mm. 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 At the back, nobody even knows her name. Mm. If somebody may come into that particular place to ask up with her name, nobody knows her name. Because the people around her, they are familiar with her, her situation. situation. They are not familiar with her. They are familiar with the situation. My God. The it negative situation. Any situation that is swallowing your identity. Maso groba shikata libra koto ya siata. May the power of God destroy it in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said when the woman approached Jesus, there was a girl. There was a girl. Instantly. Sometimes. You know, many people, they don't want to associate with them because of the kind of reproach. They reproach. They reproach. They reproach. They left. There are some reproach that are. I I pray for a woman who is bleeding. You know, Sister Flor Makia. Oh yes. I prayed for Sister Flores Makia. She was bleeding for six months nonstop. Let me tell you, she will use three packs a day. Three 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 packs Pack. of packs in a day. What is three? Some days she will she will use four. Some days we use five. I asked her, how do you go out? How do you walk? When I asked the woman the question, she, the first day that I met her, the first day that, may, may today, may today turn your life around. Amen. May today turn your life around. Amen. May today turn your life around. Amen. May today turn your destiny around. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When I asked her, I was preaching that day on Facebook. Hey, Vicky is here. I'm sure Vicky will know. I was preaching, I picked, I said, there's a woman here. The blood, I, I, I had to stand up from where I was sitting and check my dress because I felt like I was peeing on myself. But God was showing me that it is somebody that is bleeding. bleeding. And then I, I, when I stood up, I checked. I said, Jesus, what is this thing? I sat down again. When I, it came again this time, you know there's a smell of blood. Oh, yes. Then I got the smell of blood. Mm. So I couldn't identify because I thought it was pee. The way the thing was coming out. I said, God, how did I get to this level? And then I woke up and checked my seat. There was nothing. I said, oh, thank you, Jesus. I sat back again. When I sat down, the Lord revealed to me that it was blood. 
Mm. And I, I said, there is a woman. You are bleeding like they are pouring water. She said she's the one. As I was speaking, the bleeding stopped. As I was talking, as I was prophesying, mm. the bleeding stopped. stopped. She ran to her toilet. Pulled the other part, wore another part. For like, she said, for like 10 to 15 minutes. She said, after cleaning up herself. And she came back, she said, the bleeding has stopped. Has stopped. This woman was crying and crying. See, I don't know your own reproach today. I don't know how the reproach operates. Mm. I don't know. Black Bachelor's reproach was terrible. That he was even putting on uniform that identified him. How is your own? How is this reproach operating in your life and in your family? There are people on this broadcast that their mm. own the, the reproach is not for them, but it is it is not just for you alone. It's the entire family. Woman of God, do you know there are some people that the reproach of their forefathers is what is holding them back? The reproach of their forefathers, hey. the reproach of their father mm. is what is holding them back. Mm. There was a certain lady, there was a certain lady in town, in Lagos to be precise, met, uh, a man met her, to, uh, they want to marry her. He has done everything in town, but he wants to go and know her people. Getting to her family, they now discover that one, somebody from his family has married from that family. Long ago, the person is not even in existence. Reproach of the forefathers, reproach of the people that has passed. But there was, there was no good uh, Re memory. memory concerning that marriage. Because of that reproach. My God. The, 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 the repercussion fell on the lady. It now affected, it now fell on the lady. That the marriage was cancelled. Not because of whether the, the, the lady was bad. No. But because of the reproach of the past. The reproach of the past. Many people are suffering because of the past effect. Something they know not, nothing about. And do you believe that the lady did not even know that somebody from her family has ever married from that particular family? Reproach will cause them to dig it out. They dig it out. They dig it out. When they begin to dig it out, they dig it out. They did not even know. It was when they now, when they, you know, when the, the, the uh, you know, the boy will come with his own people, went to the girls, uh, to meet the girls' people as well. They, when they, it was at that point, they discover that there was, not that the person, the people they are talking about, they are, no, they are no longer alive. The reproach of the past, the reproach of the forefathers, came upon her. Came upon her. Any inherited reproach, any, cash fire, wherever, any inherited any reproach, inherited reproach, cash fire, today, any inherited reproach, let cash, cash fire, fire today, in the mighty, in name, the of mighty name of Jesus. Let's go get the scriptures. Let's check. Mm, let me let some people. Mm. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is not just like any other day. Hallelujah. It's not just like any other day. You might 
but in the realms of the spirit. I know that, uh, you know, perhaps maybe they are, as they are saying that, mm, Uh, somebody sent me a message that he had a dream that uh, this morning that I visited. The angel has already gone around yes. to visit many people to release their blessing. Amen. He said he was in tongues. The mm. message was in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> How do you give the deliverance people messages in tongues? <laughs> from Joshua, Joshua chapter, chapter 5. five. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Woman of God, we read from which chapter? Which verse? <laughs> let's mm. take it backwards a little, maybe. Okay, mm. let's go to Exodus chapter. Let's go back to Exodus. Let us see the reproach that the people went through in Egypt that the Lord was talking about. Okay. Seven. Let's go there. Exodus chapter 3, verse Exodus 7. Exodus chapter verse 3. Seven. Yeah, from verse 7. That God had to say, I have heard your cry. I have heard the cry. I have heard your cry. Mm -hmm. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. Or oh, any scripture. Just I want let's read that slave really for mm. me. Mm -hmm. He said, and the Lord said, and the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression. I have seen the oppression of my people. Of my people. Who are in Egypt. Who are in Egypt. And have heard their cry. And I have heard their cry. Because of their taskmaster. Because of their taskmaster. For I know their sorrow. For I know their, their sorrow. Listen, somebody that is going through reproach. Mm. It's a person that their, that person's life is. It, there's nothing to. There's nothing. There's nothing to talk about. The life is the life of cry, cry. The life is that of sorrow. The life is that life of, of, of pain. pain. Life of shame. Of shame. I there, there is a, a picture that I I have always had in my mind. You know. There is this picture that always like it always flashes to me when i see somebody that are supposed to help the person i met this little girl i went to work then with the un in botswana she was a house help i was passing along that street going to work and i saw this girl crying in the rain Something the spirit of God compelled me not to take a taxi from that place. I saw this little girl. She was the rain was you know this kind of rain that is not that much, but you know mm. that rain, you know how that rain that is messy. Oh yes. That kind of rain was falling, and then this girl was standing in the rain, crying. She was menstruating. There mm. was no path. Mm. There was nothing. Her, let, let me tell you, even the blood was on her cloth and the rain had washed it. The blood was leaking on the ground. Huh. I passed because of the rain. And then the Holy Spirit said, but turn. I turned. My eye went straight to that blood. And then I walked back. I'm, like a woman, when you see things like that, you're mm. like, because a, a house help, mm. that the madam sent her to go and buy something. Because she was running, the money fell from her hand. And 
God meet him. She has gone to the house to explain it. The woman said she should go back. She took her back. She, she punished her. You will be ashamed today. She told her to her remove her part. Knowing the cop. She punished her by asking her to remove her part. Because she ran and stayed. Women know that if you are menstruating the second day, he is flowing well. She ran and went outside and sat somewhere. So that's how she got that patch at the back. And then the woman came and chased her and said, get out, go out of the compound. And then she went down, then the blood. <sighs> Listen, I've never seen reproach that is more than that one. Mm. I've never in my life. I've never, I've seen things, but that particular picture, when I mm. see it, when it comes to me, I use that thing to tell God that thank you. You know, I know how to comfort people who are going through certain situations. I know how, when I hear that somebody is, I know how to, to comfort them. I know how to talk to somebody that is going through reproach. I... I have an understanding of what slaves go through. Mm. Their, their reproach is terrible. There are reproach that are better. <laughs> but the, 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 the reproach of a slave is terrible. There are people that were, as we are talking, they have been caged. They have taken away their peace. Taken away their joy left them with sorrow, left them with a reproach that they don't know how to deal with it. They are asking themselves like, ah, how can I come out of this one self? You will come out. Amen. You will come out. Amen. Just as God sent me that day, I took that child, called the police on that her mother, paid that child money, Sent her back to her people. Today, in that same capacity, mm. God will send angels to you. Amen. God will deliver you Amen. from that strong reproach. Amen. There are people on here, their reproach is very strong. Very strong. It's not ordinary. It is spiritual. Oh, yes. And the word of God said, and God sent Angel Michael mm. to go for Joshua. Listen to me. I know that with your, by yourself you can't do it. I know that by your ability it's impossible. That is why God is here. Oh yes. That is the reason why God is here. The Bible says, and God told them, say, I have heard your cry. And I have seen your what your taskmasters are doing to you in Egypt. He said, and I will deliver you. Today is that day of deliverance that you will never forget. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Even as I'm speaking, I see ropes falling. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, I have seen your, 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 your suffering. What you went through in Egypt. Today, you will be delivered. Amen. You will be set free. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, Amen. then let's go forward to Joshua. Chapter 9. The Bible said because of their reproach. Because of their reproach. Because of the way they suffer. Let me tell you something. Do you know that because of the suffering of the people in Egypt, the people of God in Egypt, oh, they left their faith because of the suffering. And oh, that's yes. what Papa was talking about, that there are some reproaches that are inherited. The Bible said they left their faith. They started worshiping, worshiping idols. idols. They, they abandoned, they forgot about. Reproach is an enemy even to your God. When God came to deliver the people of Israel, he didn't do any other thing. He wrote their reproach away. Because their reproach was what turned was their back. It was too much. It was too there. much. Reproach is the reason why they turned their back. They became faithless because of reproach. They began to worship 
idols because of reproach. Mm. Because they had become captives in Egypt. They didn't have any other thing to do. They started acting like them. They started behaving like them. They started going about life like them. Listen. What, I didn't come to preach, oh. I didn't come to preach. I came to talk heart to heart with you. As I'm talking with you, you are delivered. I didn't come to preach. I didn't come here for that. I did not come to preach. I came for to speak declarations and set you free. The Bible said, and the people, they came out of Egypt. They are known other gods. Why? Because of captivity. Mm. What is that thing that has kept you so much so that you are forgetting who you are, forgetting your identity, forgetting who you can, where you come from, forgetting what you are called to do? What is that thing? The Lord deliver you from that thing right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord delivers you from that thing right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible said, and they left Egypt. And the people, their fathers, mm. they didn't make it. The ones who heard, mm. who heard from the mouth of Moses about the promised land, they didn't make they it. They didn't make it. They did not make it. Because of the reproach. Why? Because of the reproach of Egypt. Because of the reproach of Egypt. Because they had worshipped other gods. Because they had believed in other gods. Because they had stepped their feet in the wrong place. Listen to me. Whatever is holding you today, today. Mm. I don't care that thing. The Lord loses you. Amen. The Lord separates you. Amen. The Lord brings you out of that captivity. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I said the Lord brings you out Amen. of that captivity. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Read for us, man of God. Maybe you read from verse 7. Five from verse 7. Yeah. Yes, woman of God, do you know that if not the, the mercy that God has upon them, mm. none of them will enter. None have, of them will enter. Will none of enter. them. Because reproach has already turned them against God. Reproach turn you. Re reproach deny you approval. Reproach deny you approach. As you get reproach, it denies you the ability to approach. You who give you the audacity to enter, to come forward. Reproach tells you to stop there. Reproach does not accept you to come forward. Mm. It denied them the entrance. It denied them the promise. Listen to me. Anything that is denying your promise Amen. today, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything that is denying your promise, be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything that is denying you your promise, your ability to enter, be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that will fight your promise, anything that will stop your promise, anything that will not allow you to function the way you're supposed to, in the mighty name of Jesus. May that power be broken Amen. over your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Joshua chapter 5. Yes. I read from verse 9. Amen. So then the Lord said to Joshua, mm -hmm. This day yes. I have rolled away the reproach mm. of Egypt from you. This day. This day. Read what? from, I want you to read earlier. Mm. If we should read, let's start from, let's just run it from, from, or three. from three. Mm -hmm. So Joshua made flint knives mm -hmm. for himself. Mm -hmm. and circumcise the sons of Israel. Why did he have to circumcise them? Because of the sins of the fathers. To make them clean. Mm. Because the reason why they didn't enter. Listen, we are, you know why, why when David called Goliath, that you uncircumcised Philistine, God just permitted his death. God permitted Goliath to die instantly. Because I don't know how to describe second, uh, on, uh, on, on people who are not circumcised before God. It is dirty. It's like people who are carrying the original sin on oh, them. Yes. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. He said, he said, make knives. Circumcise the people. Why? Because the people, the reason why the people died, the ones who left Egypt, they died because they, you know when the anger of God is at, 
is coming against somebody. And there is no mercy speaking no for that mercy. mercy. Oh, yeah. If the person will die. Definitely. The person will die. No when mercy. the anger of God is coming against someone mm. and there is no mercy speaking against that person, there's nothing that can hold God. God will kill that person. Yes, I said God will kill the person because some people think that God, God doesn't he kills. He said that the people they have to be circumcised because God did not want the second generation to die again. They would have died. They would have died. They would have died again. But God wanted to spare them. Somebody mm. said, Me, mm. I am among, 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 I am among the I am ones among. that are spared. The ones that are spared. I am among the ones that are spared. I am among the ones that are spared. I am among the ones that are spared in the name of Jesus. Even people don't marry my family. Even if people don't marry my family. Even if people don't stay in marriage in my family. I am among the ones that will stay in marriage in the name of Jesus. Even if poverty is not broken. Even if poverty is not broken. I am, I am the one who will break it, who will break it in the name of Jesus. Name of we, Jesus. Are mm, we are the bloodline breakers. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Amen. The pattern breakers. Circle breakers. Oh yes. Today. Today. Every pattern. Mm. Every circle. In the front line, be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That circle, mm. nobody married. They will have three children. They will have four. They will stay for five years. Mm. They will stay for six years. Yet they will throw them out. That mm. thing be broken. Amen. That thing that does not allow you mm. to carry children. They said you, they have exchanged the joy that you have in your marriage for children. Who said that rubbish? I break it. Amen. I break it. Amen. I break it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. These ones were spared. Mm. The original ones who heard the promise, they didn't. They, the Lord didn't spare them. Listen to me. Even if it is God that is angry with your family, I stand as a priest. I decree and I declare that the Lord will spare you. Amen. I said I decree and I declare mm. that the Lord will spare you. Amen. I said. God himself against your family. I stand as a priest oh, yes. and I decree oh, yes. and I declare I... that you are delivered Amen. in the name of the Lord. Amen. If God will come, let God come and ask me. Mm. Let God ask me, Papa, mm. come and what? ask me why I free that one. I will tell you, I met her. Mm. I met her in the streets of Zoom. Mm. I delivered her. I freed her. Mm. I am speaking. And the Lord is telling me, there are some people, oh, yes. I am the one fighting them. Mm. I am the one fighting them. Listen to me. If you are that one, that your family deviated from God and started serving something else, and God became angry and is fighting your family, I stand as a priest. I pull you out. Amen. I pull you out. Amen. I pull you out of that bloodline. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and Joshua, is making knives for circumcision. Go ahead, sir. What a powerful declaration there. Hallelujah. Amen. So Joshua made flint knives mm -hmm. for himself mm -hmm. and circumcised the sons of Israel mm -hmm. at the heel of the foreskins. Mm. And this is the reason why Joshua circumcised them. All the people who came out of Egypt, who were male, mm. all the men of war, all of them had died. The Lord killed all of them in the wilderness. In the wilderness, on the way, on their way, after they had came out of Egypt. Listen to me. You will not. You 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 you. You see that spirit of death that is coming after you. That is chasing you. That is saying that I killed the other person that wanted to arrive in their family. I killed the other person that wanted to arrive in their family. I killed the other person that wanted to arrive in their family. Nobody will ever arrive in their family. Nobody will ever cross this age in 
their family. Nobody will ever have this amount of money in their family. Nobody. Let me tell you. When I became ordained as a pastor, I saw one of my sisters. She came to me in a, in a vision. And she said to me, she said, you, who told you? She said, God called your papa, your own papa. She's my self sister. She said, God called your father, our father. The calling did not work. God called his elder brother. The calling did not work. God called his younger brother. The calling did not work. What are you, what are you trying to do? Who removed you from that job that you are selling Guinness? And give you Bible. Who removed you from there? And she is talking in the church, in the vision. I was in a big, in my, in like, in my ministry. She came, she removed this bomb shot, right? She threw it to me at the, at the pulpit. She said, pick it and wear it. That is what you're supposed to be wearing. You're not supposed to be putting on this collar and everything and be standing there well dressed. Don't you know you're supposed to be mad in the street? You're supposed to be doing mad things. For that is the law. Of the land. That is the law of the family. And I said, You foul spirit devil. I said, I picked the bomb, she wore it on her head. I took a broom. I whipped her legs out of the church. As she was going, I was whipping her, sweeping her footsteps behind her. And I swept it out. Let me tell you something. It is two years now. That I, that, it is two, this is the third year, right? That um, we are running on our own. On the third year, my elder, my father's elder brother, the daughter of the first one that God called, that failed. That girl was ordained yesterday. Mm. Let me tell you, you are the bloodline breaker. You are the one that will break the cousin. I, I, mm. I, listen to me. Listen, you see me. I'm a miracle. You see me. You see, you see you as you are sitting there now. You are looking as if you are hopeless. Tomorrow you will be testifying. Amen. They said you cannot. They, that my sister told me it's impossible. God called three people in the family. How can you take all of the anointings? She was telling me that you do you want to run mad? How can you take three anointings plus your own? Four. And the Lord told me, stand. Because you are a big tree. I said, the very first person that God called in my father's family. He, he, he did touches in Nigeria like five times. He opened, closed, opened, closed, opened, closed. Finally left for Mali. And came back at old age. The ministry in him dead. Listen, God will resurrect. I said the blessing of your family that is dead, buried, forgotten, God will bring it back to life. The blessing of your mother that was buried, the blessing of your father that was buried, God will resurrect it up today in the name of Jesus. That reproach can no longer hold it. Reproach is what deny you the entrance. Reproach is what denies you the ability to enter. Reproach is what denies you the, the strength to stand up and face your reality. Today, if you have seen me today, mm. you will enter. Amen. If you have seen me today, you will become. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And Joshua prepared for their deliverance. Mm. And Joshua prepared. We have prepared for 40 days for this deliverance. For this day. We have prepared for 40 oh, yes. days for this your deliverance. Mm. You are you are the ones. You people are the ones that the Lord prepared to deliver. Today, what is that thing? What is that thing? The reason why Joshua had to prepare a knife mm. is because there are certain things you need to cut. Oh, yes. You need to cut. Oh, yes. There are certain things you must mm. peel. The circumcision, when they do circumcision, they peel, right? They cut the peel. Oh, yes. They peel. Listen, what is covering you? I peel it off. Amen. I said that thing that is covering you, the Bible said, on this, that anything that is covering you, that is covering you, any coverage upon this mountain mm. shall be exposed. Free. Listen, mm. I open. You, Amen. I expose you Amen. to your real self, Amen. your real ability, Amen. your real calling, uh -huh. your real finances, your real marriage.
marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Reproach. 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 They had a promise, but they couldn't enter because of reproach. They died. You will not die, you. We will not die. We will enter. Amen. I said we will not die. We will enter. Amen. I said we will not die. We will enter. Amen. I said we will not die. Amen. We will enter. Amen. I said we will not die. We will enter. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Woman of God, do you know that it was just like in this present generation? Yes. Prophecy are being given to some people. Yes. That the certain things will come to pass in your life. Yes. And they are waiting these things not coming forth. Yes. And they might thought that the word was not true or mm. but it's the, the reason. The reproach. The reproach. It doesn't allow it, doesn't it. Allow it to come to pass. <laughs> when Moses uh, speak to them mm. in the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. he, he, he speak with them that God has prepared a place, a land mm. that is flowing with milk and, and honey, honey for them. Mm -hmm. But what happened? They didn't get there. Adaba, shaka, they didn't da. see it. Mm. But was it false that there was no land? It wasn't false. But because of the reproach, they couldn't get to that promised land. That prophecy did not fulfill in their life. My God. Did you see that? Some people, the prophecy given to them, instead of fulfilling in their life, now come to reveal what to mind to reveal in the life of the children just as the, the israelites here you will not know no, your children will the, not carry your the, prophecy your prophecy the, is for you the, your the, fulfillment is for you it's, it's supposed not for, to it's not, it's for your not children. supposed to be your children you are the one that's supposed because to. if you manifest your 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 your, pro, your prophetic word if you enter your canaan land your children will just have to drink the milk mm. So your children are not going to go fight battles again. again. Because if your children will fulfill your prophecy, then they have to fight have your to fight. giants. It, God, somebody say, God forbid it. God forbid. I can't pray like this and my children come and pray like this. My children will be worshipping God. You they, know, I was speaking with one of my brother. I told him, he said that he has tried. I said, your, your effort is not enough. Because things are still standing. There are still war for you to fight. He said, no. That he has fight enough that his children will come and continue from where he stopped. A pity. It was a very sad moment for, for <laughs> me to hear such a word from him. <laughs> I tell him, what were you doing all this while? Even when you know what to fight for, even when all these things have been revealed to you, why are you now leaving it for your children to come and continue? Imagine. The same war that you have you fought. Not that you didn't know. You abandoned it halfway so that your children, he said his children will say, ah, my father really tried. Yes. I said they won't say that. They will say you fell. You don't know that, that the more your giants stand. No, what you are facing now, eh? God forbid that you don't break it. When your children come, it becomes bigger. It's stronger than, it's bigger. It's bigger. It's bigger. Imagine that the demon has developed ten horns by that time. You need to cut all of them. So the reproach caused people, it makes some people not to reap the fruit. Delay. Of their labor. Delay. Delay is it the greatest delay tactics of in reproach. In the life of people. Reproach is, they, they, the, the the motto of reproach is it's delay. delay. When the delay comes in, the people, the person will keep on waiting. What is the essence of at your dying age, age, at the dying age of a man, money now comes in. What is he going to do with the money? He cannot enjoy the money. Mm. But all his life, he has been in poverty. But the delay comes in, and he's suffering. Then at the dying age, the finances now comes in. 
he has already scattered his life mm. in different areas of our life. Mm. When the less comes in, he denies us from the rightful benefit. My God. You know, many people said, God time is the best. As God make a way for you for the blessings to flow in, the, the, the devil, the accuser, is also standing by to cause delay. The reproach will wake up so that the delay will now come in. I decree upon your life whatsoever reproach that has been standing, that has been creeping in into your life in order to cause delay, in order to cause God's blessing to delay in your life. Let it break today in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let it break today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let it break today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not be in that same situation. Year in, year out. You are expecting. You are expecting. There's one... No, when I was in the... When I was working back then in Nigeria... They always made one st statement. And all the newspaper will carry it. Maybe from the presidency, they will say, there's one news that they normally carry about the police then in Nigeria. They will say police will soon smile. Mm. They will say they will add their salary. The salary of the, the police, uh, it, they will increase it. They will put it, year in, year out, police will soon smile. Imagine. Police will soon smile. Police will soon smile. Why is the thing not coming? Mm. That was the year that police be, uh, begin to strike in Nigeria. Let this thing come. Not that we what will soon. What is holding them? What is holding it? That we will soon smile. We will soon smile. What is stopping it from coming now? I decree upon your life. Amen. Whatsoever is holding your blessing, whatsoever is standing at the door of your blessing, let it be uprooted in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Let it be uprooted in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. You will not. It will not be written that you will soon smile. Mm. You are smile. Amen. Your happiness Amen. begins now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say your happiness. Begins today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That which you have expected God to do for you. That which you have been believing God for. It will no longer be said that it will soon come to pass. But today, as God has made this day to come to pass, so shall it be that it will begin today in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. It will begin today in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been waiting. Nobody talk, is talking to you. Nobody is ringing, your, is ringing your bell. Nobody is looking your way. But today, it will begin... Amen. Not that they will, it will soon. I Amen. cancel that word in mm. your life. Mm. I mm. cancel that word in your life. Amen. Any, any word that will say, you will soon marry. Mm. You will mm. soon marry. I cancel it. Mm. Not that you will soon marry. Your marriage begins today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That man, that lady, that will come your way. Let that connection be kids today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It will no longer be said that there will be there will be, soon be peace in your home. I decree upon your life. Let that peace begin today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the peace begin today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The angel called. To assist Joshua. Today, the angels of the Lord has come down 
just because of you to take away your reproach. Let that reproach be taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. Every of your reproach is being taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. All of your reproach is being taken away in the mighty name of Jesus. You will no longer remain in that circumstance. You will no longer remain in that position. That reproach is counsel. That reproach is counsel. It's being taken away. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makunda Rika Suntayada. You did not come here today so that you will come back and still be waiting. You did not come here today so that you will go back and do what? And still continue to be waiting. That waiting is counsel. That waiting is counsel. I say that waiting is counsel in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatsoever, let it begin today in the mighty name of Jesus. I remember that day. There was a woman in the hospital while we were praying on the Zoom. And the woman, there was nothing, the, the, the baby was not coming down. And they were about preparing her for, uh, and what happened? When the prayer was being lifted up, what happened? The water broke instantly. It was an instant miracle. God that did that on that particular day is that same God that is here today. That God will begin that good work in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will no longer be on the waiting list. I say you will no longer be waiting for it. You will no longer be waiting for peace to come. But the peace in your home is beginning today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say that peace in your home is beginning today. It's beginning today. In the mighty name of Jesus. They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. And you have made that step today. That peace has begun. That peace has begun. In your family, in your home, in your marriage, in your job, in your business, it has begun. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will no longer be waiting, waiting, waiting. Mark it. Every waiting issue that causes you to be waiting, you have been waiting for how many for how many years? You have waited enough, but today. Because the reproach, God has sent his angels to roll away your reproach. You will no longer be on that waiting list. You will no longer be waiting. You will no longer be counting years of waiting. But you will be counting years of testimony. From testimony to testimony, the Spirit of God is right here. You open your heart because God has come in. God is right here to take away that reproach. Leave it in the hand of God. Let God take it. Let God take it. Let God take it. Take it. Take it. As He takes it, He will not leave you empty handed. He will restore. He will restore. I seek restoration. Restoration. Restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Amen. When you were talking, the Lord opened my eyes. He showed me Jesus on the cross. Mm. And he said to me, Do you understand the Demi. power? Mm. And the and the mm. He said, Do you understand the power of reproach? Mm. He said, When Jesus was hanging on the, the cross, he said, It was the greatest reproach you could ever Kana have. Bada, yada, he said, It was your biggest reproach. Mm. He said, When he was, listen, he hung on that place, he died there. Mm. Somebody had to come and pull him from there. That was the biggest reproach you could ever have. Because when Jesus was nailed on that cross, you were nailed together with him. He said, did I not open the gate? Did I not tear the curtain and command you to come in? He said, why are they still standing at the other side? When the curtains have been cut open, he said, you are at the access point. He said, enter. Enter and receive what you are looking for. Enter and 
what you are looking for. Enter. He said, enter and get what you are looking Malabaya. for. He said, that reproach is rude. He said, I wrote the reproach on the third day. He said, when I rose from the grave, I have He said, the Yada. grave could not hold me. He said, listen, he said, and then he prayed and said something. Then he prayed and said, oh, that, that your only one will mm. not see decay. Mm. That your holy one will not see decay. Listen to me. Jesus said, I should tell you. Mm. Oh, I didn't say uh, the, I said Jesus said mm. to me mm. to tell you. Oh, yes. He said that reproach mm. is wiped off today. Amen. That reproach is wiped off today. Amen. He said, that reproach that is connected to everything that is happening in your life. Mm. He said that reproach is wiped off. Amen. He said that reproach is wiped off. Amen. He said access has been granted. Oh, yes. Access is granted oh, yes. to anything you want to do. Amen. To anything you want to do Amen. to anything you want to do Amen. access has been granted Amen. he said power has been given to you florence oh yes power has been given to you florence Amen. he said power has been given to you florence Amen. he said power has been given to you florence Amen. florence the lord said i should tell you i am talking i'm not the lord jesus said i should tell you florence mm. that power has been given to you Amen. he said trample down mm. walk into your destiny Amen. Walk into your destiny. Amen. No power is permitted to hold you, Florence, anymore. No, that's her, the second from this side. No power is permitted to hold you anymore. Amen. You are liberated. He said, I should tell you, you are liberated. Amen. That you are liberated. Amen. That you are liberated. Amen. Power fall on her right now. 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 Amen. Power fall on her right Amen. now. Amen. Power fall on her right now. Power fall on her. Power. Power come on her. Amen. Right Power fall on her. Right Amen, Lord. Let it be hot on her. Amen. Let it be hot on her. Amen, Lord. Let it be hot on her. Amen, Lord. Wait it on her as it Kalabaya, comes Kalabaya. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the word of God said, mm. Esika maya take it here so kotariata. He said, and God told them after their circumcision, mm. he said, listen, Joshua, today, mm. not tomorrow. Today. Read that scripture for us, man of God. He says, nine. Verse nine. He said, Then the Lord said to Joshua, mm. This day I have brought away the reproach of Egypt from you. This day. This today, day. Today. Today. Now, now. 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 Not tomorrow. Not. Now. Today. As we are talking. Mm -mm. He said the reproach, the reproach has been ruled. Has been ruled. Today. Oh yes. Not tomorrow. Not, a, not after. Not at not all. Not a second. Mm -mm. This minute. Today. He said the reproach now. has been ruled. Amen. He said, listen. Mm. He said the reproach of what? Egypt. The Egypt. What is your Egypt? Mm. The reproach of that former relationship. Mm. The reproach of that other marriage. Hey. The reproach of that other man. The reproach of that that thing. That reproach, that sickness, mm. that reproach of poverty, mm. that reproach, listen to me, there are some people who cannot forgive their husband. Mm. Woman of God, do you know the reason, as you were saying, I got that deep in me, that the reason people suffered break up and break up again it's is because, because of, of the, the reproach. reproach. Yes. You you know when we met, you know how I was behaving. When we met, it was God who helped me. Because I kept on telling him, we are not going anywhere. I kept on telling him that, listen, even said, I'm not interested. At a point, he told me, it's just God. You, God, no, it God was bless God. You. It was God. Be yes. God, God will be, be, God will bless you. I've never seen such a a man that is patient. He had mm. to tell me something. He told me, say, listen to me. Whether you are interested, whether you are not interested, me, I'm interested. <laughs> you, whether you you are interested, whether you are not interested, it came to a point that he had to tell me that I want you to forget about the fact that whether you want to go. You don't want to go, you are going. Whether you like to be in the in a relationship or not, I came to tell you, I want to tell you that you you will be there. Whether you love to marry or you don't love to marry, you will marry. You mm. see you because I will marry you. He kept on telling me that. 
And I kept on behaving funny, talking the way I was talking because of the reproach. reproach. Because of the reproach. You know, when reproach is speaking, the person might think that what is doing is the right thing. It's the right thing now. Of knowing to him or her that it's the reproach that is speaking. You know, the reproach speak in the life of people. And it will cause the people to behave in an abnormal way. And you will say, that is me. And you say, that is, that me. is, is me. me. That is me. That is not you. That is reproach speaking. That is not you. When somebody said it, you said, that is me. When I said this, I cannot change it. Mm. That is not you. It's the reproach that is speaking. Is just speaking through you. That mm. is not real you. You know, when rep when reproach is much, when somebody is going through too much, eh, there's a way the person speaks that language, speaks mm. that language, speaks it on. And it, be it becomes a normal to the person. So the person mm. feels that, that it's is okay. Normal. Then the Lord said to them, He said, Listen, Joshua. He said, Listen, Mark him. Mm. Listen, Valerie. Listen, Florence. Listen, Johnson Patrice. Listen, Nana. Listen, Chanel. Listen. He said, listen, I don't know how many of them that are here. I want to call you. I really tell you to listen because. Sister Anna, listen. Sister Barbara, listen. Listen, Karen. Listen, the reproach of Egypt <laughs> has been rolled away. Amen. Amen. Sister Anna, why is Sister Mori not here? Why is Sister Joy not there? What happened? I saw Joy some times ago. She was saved before. Now the spirit, that, that's the spirit that they showed me arrow anyhow, anyhow. Leave it, you will be fine. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is in charge, God is in control. Oh, yeah. Whether he can't home, whether she doesn't come, if she was sharp, she will still manage to deliver that man because that's the spirit that mm. is doing the man like that. The because the woman has already removed that bed. Oh, yes. Yes. If she had done what I said. That's why I say some of these things that I tell you people, they are very simple, but they are, if you do it, be guaranteed that you will get the result. They look very stupid. How do you go and remove a dead man's family? How do you do? Because it's that one, he has to remove that spirit, throw, oh, yes. burn it. And then the spirit in that man is manifesting. Manifesting. He's arrested. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, man of God. Oh, yes. When... When Jesus healed the man at the pool of Bethsaida, he said, wrap your mat. Mm. Wrap your He said, pick up your mat. I can imagine the man roll the mat. Mm. Oh, God. I want you to understand something. When Jesus healed that man at the pool of Bethsaida, he said, pick up your, your mat. mat. The mat that has been carrying you. Woman of God, you know, he said, pick up your he mat. Said, pick. Why didn't he just tell the man, he said, go he, he, and abandon the, no, uh, the mat? There. I have to deal with this situation. Mm. You that has grounded me, mm. you make me lose Look. my ability. You make me lie on you, mm. rely on you mm. for 38 years. How do I 
walk away from you. Listen to me. God does not deliver a person mm. without picking everything. Every. Oh. He told them. He said, I have rolled away your reproach. Today, Kala that Kala reproach, Kala. I don't know Kala Kala. how that reproach is operating, Kala. but in the name of the Lord, mm. I roll that reproach away. Amen. That reproach be rolled 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 away. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A man of God, the word of God says something very important. Mm. He said the end. He said this Let's people go, end. Dear. Let's go. Dear. When reproach is He's rolled lifted. away, mm. when reproach is taken, then you can eat, then you can marry, mm. then a man can look at you. Mm. Do you know? Do you know that my mother used to tell me, I don't used to put on heels. I don't used to put on heels. Because my mother would tell me, don't put on heels. Put on something flat. Who will marry you like this? She will be asking me, look at how you look like a giant. Who will marry you? Don't put on heels, please. She was trying. If I am walking, my mother will be hitting me. Oh, Jesus. Can you not walk like a girl? Can you not, can you not just sway a little like that? and just, just sway, just do something like a girl. Who will marry you? Your stature is, so, is, is, is like that of a man. She, she said, don't you know that your body is built like a man? Like, who oh, my, oh, Brenda, you don't understand. Who, oh, I am your mother. I, she will tell me, I am your mother. Who will marry you like this? The way you are going, it's not okay. Don't put on heels. Don't do this. If I want to do like this, hell God. She will say, ah, 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 ah. I will not be sitting here and then I will not see you, you will not marry. I will not be sitting here and now see you, not marry. Listen, but when every reproach in my life was rolled away, oh, we are talking some part about marriage. Mm. There is a part of my life in 2015 that I said that I crashed. Yeah, I got married in 2015. And yes, I got married to somebody we dated for seven years. But you see, because of reproach, they will look at you this, your legs are too fat. The way you preach, you are showing yourself up. The way you do this is too much. Oh, the way you dress up, you are going to show yourself to other men. Now, this was not the person, the man talking. It was the family talking. Mm. How will you marry that kind of woman? She's always on a flight. She's always going everywhere. She's always doing this. She's always preaching. People are sitting there and now she's cat walking in front of them. She's that she's preaching. That same year, the Lord told me, Don't enter there, don't enter there. You have dated that man for many years. Mm. But don't don't marry that man. Because if you marry that man, what you will face will be more than what you face. Listen to me, man of God. Mm. You see what the children of Israel went through for 40 years. Oh yes. I'm thinking that it wasn't really 40 years like that. See, somebody can go through something for four days. Eh? Oh, yes. <laughs> somebody, so, something, somebody can go through four... I know what I'm telling you. you. Maybe you have never been there. I've been there. Listen. I've been I there. got married in January. Oh, yes. By June. <laughs> by, by June. No. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got married in January. January, February. Not January like that, though. January 27. February, March, April, May. May. Eh? May. On the 23rd of May, we were dissolving the marriage. I've not changed, though. This is how I used to be. I am the same woman. I am the same person. But when reproach is there, Mm. But when reproach is there, they will never see the good 